Well, we have a collection of classic firearms from the early era, breakthroughs in 19th century firearms technology, but everyone loves a black gun. So this particular black gun has a very interesting and innovative design. It's a calico, and this is their M100 model. But what's really interesting in the calico designs is their magazine design. Now this, mag this is a 22 long rifle pistol. This magazine is mounted on the top. This is the magazine itself, and it is a 100 round uh, 22 long rifle magazine. Uh, easily removable, but the capacity is interesting, and the, uh, the structure of the magazine itself is very interesting. It's a spiral magazine to where the hundred rounds go around like a spiral staircase around that magazine, and it's also a magazine that has to be cranked uh, to put the tension on the spring. So the rounds are loaded, uh, the spring tension can be released by pressing that button, but it makes for a very high capacity uh, firearm in a very compact design. Now of course if this is good in 22 long rifle it's going to be even better in 9mm and Calico uh, made the 9mm version as well. This is the carbine version as opposed to the pistol. Uh, generally a carbine will refer to a shoulder fired arm that has the uh, uh, a shorter barrel than a rifle uh, would. In this case I believe that's probably about a 16 or 17 inch barrel uh, the legal minimum for non-NFA uh, rifle barrel lengths. But it's a similar design to the pistol. Again, you have the helical magazine. In this case, it's a 50 round magazine as opposed to a 100, although they do make 100 rounders for the 9mm that just extend back twice as far. It has a collapsible buttstock. It's adjustable to a number of different positions. And uh, uh, they say that, that, in a way, black rifles are Barbies for guys because you can accessorize them. And uh, when I got this, I couldn't resist accessorizing it. I, I put a little scope mount on it. And I mounted a, a, a laser sight on it. Uh, it's old technology, but 15 years ago it was very cool. It just has a little, uh, little pressure switch here uh, with the laser mounted on the, uh, the sight rail here. And, of course, you just press the... Uh, press the uh, switch to turn on the laser. So uh, uh, it's an innovative de design. Uh, the thing is with these, um, some people report good uh, reliability with them. I've never had really good luck with these two, but these are very early production. They're both serial number one of that particular model. But a very fun gun, a very innovative design. They were also made in a class three full auto configuration and uh, uh, just a neat little black gun.